Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute little flower holder decoration doohickey using <laughs> items from the Dollar Tree. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. Hey y'all, so let us get started. First off, I know that there's going to be a lot of little pieces and things for this project. Even though it is small and simple, there's going to be a handful of things. So let's get the first part of the video out of the way and then we'll come back and work on decorations and things of that nature. You're going to need one of these doohickeys. These came from the Dollar Tree. And I say doohickey because I really don't know what to call it. And the label says decor. Well, that's just descriptive, isn't it? And as you can see on here, there's some glitter. Now, I know that there's a bunch of different styles out there. And I think all of them have a little bit of glitter. I think. I've seen a bunch of different ones online. But um, this one has glitter. And we need that glitter to go away. So you can see right here. I think this part right here is just a sticker. And sometimes with these things from Dollar Tree, um, you have to be very careful with taking off stickers and things like that. Because you can rip the underneath of it. I've been looking, um, I don't think I'm even going to bother trying to take this, this part off, the sticker part. So what I have here is a sanding block. You can use a sanding block, a piece of sandpaper, an emery board, a nail file, what have you. You can scrape it off with your teeth, I guess. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that, but <laughs> last resort, last resort, you could do that. We just need to get the glitter off of there. Because once we remove the glitter, then we can paint it. So what I'm going to do is, I know y'all are saying, what is she going to do with this miniature pool table? I'll show you in a moment. But I'm just going to take this sanding block and let's just sand the glitter off. And this is 100 grit, okay? So it's not going to take a lot of effort on my part. In fact, I'm just barely touching it. I've already got glitter all over the floor anyway, so why not just blow it over that way? <laughs> now, most of this is going to be covered up here in a little bit. So it doesn't matter too much if you scratch this paper just a little bit. Okay, that's mostly gone. So now what we need to do is, you see her tail here? That has a lot of glitter on it as well. So that needs to go away. And this is coming off really easily. And so I'm not really putting a whole lot of pressure. Oh, my ring's crooked. Talking about my ring. This comes from paparazzi jewelry. This ring and this bracelet. I love paparazzi jewelry. I was a consultant many moon ago. And I got out of it for personal reasons. And now I'm back selling it again. Because I wear it all the time. I will have a link in the description box and I'll also pin a comment where you can go and you can buy some of your very own. Okay, I think all of this is done. Yeah. So I'm going to take a paper towel here and I'm just going to knock off some of this glitter. All right. I believe I got it all. So now let's open this up. Well, I said I was. I got it open. All right, so this was the label. It's just the pool table game over in the toys and stuff at Dollar Tree. And let's open it up here. A bunch of little pieces that I can use for potential crafts. Now, these are your cues. Oh, hey, they're spring loaded. Well, that's kind of cool. And then this would be the end that you put on here. But I'm not going to be using these right now. Just set those off to the side. And here are all of the, the that is just too cute. So I want to save those as well. Now you remember the um, the bubblegum Christmas tree ornament that I made, the little gumball machine. You could use these and put down in the ornament to use for gumballs because I'm not going to be using them in this craft. But I'm going to be using these right here. And what we're going to do with those is try to set that up on something. I'm going to glue these to the bottom for little legs because I didn't want this sitting down flat. I wanted to give it, you know, a little bit of height. So I'm going to be using some E6000. So I'm going to be putting just a little bit of E6000 around here. And then I'm going to let it set up. And then once it's done setting up, I'm going to use some white spray paint. And I'm going to paint the entire thing. All right. 
So I'm gonna glue all four of these down, go spray paint it, and then we'll come back and decorate it. Alrighty, so all of my paint, glue, everything has dried and set up. I'm about to fall out of my chair. <laughs> um, anyway, everything is set up and ready. And I know the inside of it still looks a little bit blue. It's okay. We're gonna cover all that up. Yes, I did change my nails because this is the next day from when I started this video. But with this screwdriver, I had this sign from the Dollar Tree and I popped off these little metal hearts. I'm gonna save these because I might use these for something later. And let's talk about these hearts for just a second. They have this piece of wood glued to the back of them. And Dollar Tree, I would like to know what sort of glue you are using because this is not gonna come off for me. Okay, with this particular sign, I cannot get this piece of wood off. I tried with the uh, other heart over here and I messed up the heart. So I'm just going to leave this on. You're not going to see it when we glue it on. And actually, it's going to add a little bit of depth to our project. So it's okay. I just used a screwdriver and just worked my way under it and popped it off the sign. So let's stick that over there. Now what we're going to do, uh, let's decorate the outside of it before we put the foam and the flowers in. So I have some of this cording. Of course, this is the same as the twine that you can get at Dollar Tree, but my Dollar Tree was out and I had ordered some online and guess what? They canceled my order for some reason. But anyway, what I want to do with this twine is I want to wrap it around here and then we're going to glue the heart on. Now, I was thinking about dry brushing this a little bit, you know, to give it a little extra something something and I don't think I want to because by the time that we get this on and the heart on and the flowers in there, it's not really going to make that big of a difference. I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. So go ahead. But anyway, because we are going to glue the heart on the front here, let's just take a quick look and see. Okay. So I think I want to start gluing this onto the very front. And I am all tangled up at my cord here. Goodness. So let's just set this down here and I'm going to give it a few minutes and I'm going to let the glue harden up. Okay, let's wrap it around. Now, I did leave the label on the back of this and I didn't want to paint over it. And there's a reason for that because I have some more ideas for these. And in case my store does not carry them anymore, I want to see like the, um, the numbers here so that I may can possibly order some more. Why are you doing this? So we're just going to wrap it around. And then I'm going to put another blob of glue here. I don't want to cover up any of these uh, numbers here. I can cover up the address, that's no problem. I just don't want to cover up numbers. So I'll leave that like that. I see I missed some spots here on the back of the legs. That's okay. Nobody's going to see it. And I can go back here in a few minutes and touch that up with a little bit of white acrylic paint. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. So now let's just wrap this around carefully. I'll put just a little bit more glue here. And then all I'm going to do is just keep wrapping this around and gluing it down till I have about an inch or so of this twine. So I'm going to work on that and I'll be right back. All right, so I've glued the heart on, and now I just have a piece of twine. I think I want to tie a little bow and put on there. Um, we're going to try. Tie that tightly, and then let's just bring this down. Let's see. That looks all right. I think that is adorable and I want to put a little bitty bow there. So now let's trim this and let's trim that. All right. I'm going to have to move this so I can like look dead at it from the center. Boop. I don't like the openness, that open space there. I don't like that. Oh, how cute. Yes. Yes, that is adorable. I'm happy with that. All right, now, why are you here? There we go. All right, so now I have this piece of foam. This block actually came from Walmart because my Dollar Tree was out, but Dollar Tree does carry this. And now we're just going to set that right down in there. Now this moss also came from Walmart, but Dollar Tree does carry this. 
my Dollar Tree was covered in boxes and the girl had told me that, you know, they had gotten in a bunch of new spring stuff, the floral stuff, and they were in the midst of putting it out. So, that's why I ran over to Walmart. All right, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue. Can y'all see this? Yeah. All right. I'm just going to tappy tap a little bit of this down. You have to have all these scientific, you know, high tech technical terms such as tappy tappy. Okay. Tappy tappy that right there. All right. So now we're going to put some here. We let's just put it all over the place. And now because I'm using a high temp glue gun, you can hear, <laughs> you can hear the foam crackle a little bit. Usually, uh-oh, don't go there. Usually I suggest using low temp for that because you don't want to melt the foam. But because it's sitting down in this container, it really doesn't make that big of a difference. Now, the reason I'm not decorating the back here is it's going to be covered up with flowers. You know, why would you want to waste things to decorate the back? That looks okay. You need to not be here. You, you go all right, put this back in the bag over here. We put a little piece of tape on that here in a second to hold that. All right, so now we have this. So now I'm just going to take these flowers, all of which came from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to arrange them down in there. Let's see, I'm not exactly sure which color I want. Owie, not exactly sure which color I won't wear. All right, this is a really big piece here. I thought I had all these cut apart. So let's start with this color. I'm trying to be careful here because I don't want to put a whole lot of pressure on this. I don't know how much pressure these little legs will take. I'm going to assume it's not a heck of a whole lot. Um, I do need my wire cutters so that I can trim down these flowers because that's a lot taller than what I want it to be. So let me get my wire cutters and trim these down. Okay, I am pretty happy with my flower placement. Why are you doing this? And here it is. Let's just get these extra little pieces of moss out of there. Now, I didn't want the flowers to be... Now, I know it looks like this on camera, but in person, you can still see through the flowers to see the background. And that's what I wanted. I didn't want the plants to be so dense that you couldn't see the back because that was the whole purpose of using this thing here to see the back. Um, but yes, in person you can see it. But I do have these little bags of uh, these little bags. This bag of these little decorative stones. This came from Dollar Tree too, right? Yes, from Dollar Tree. And I think I'm just going to place a few. Oh, double layer bag. Very smart. All right. So I'm just going to take some of these and I'm just going to glue them in place. That one looks kind of gray. I don't want that one. I want that brown one. Uh, let's put the glue here. Let's place that right there. Oh, that looks better. What'd you think? Yes. All right, so let's find another one. That one looks okay. Put some glue there. And we're going to put it there. I might put one back in there. Nah, I don't like you. Uh, poor little rock. He's like, what have I done to you? All right, let's get some glue here. Just kind of place that back in there. Put a few. But yeah. I'm going to stick a few more of these little rocks in there. And that'll be that. How cute. I like it. I'm happy with it. I hope you like it. If you would, give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time.